Dr. Jordan B. Peterson, 12 More Rules for Life, Part 2. In 2018, Dr. Peterson published 12 Rules for Life and went on a worldwide tour. 2019-2020 was hospitalized and on the road to recovery. 2021 returned to podcasting and published his new book, 12 More Rules for Life. The patriarchy itself, the idea of the patriarchy itself is a symbol. The patriarchy is a symbol. That's why it has such power. And it's a symbol that refers to the domain of order. Now, the domain of order is protective as well as oppressive. But when it degenerates, it becomes oppressive. And I would say it degenerates when it's based on power rather than competence. But it can be based on competence. You know, the, the Marxist critics and, and the... And the, and the uh, the politically correct types, they insist that every element of the patriarchy is only a consequence of the imposition of order, mm -hmm. forceful imposition of order. It's all power. Well, no. No, it's not. When it degenerates, that's true. Because, and you can tell that, because you see, the thing is, the domain of order will be upheld by those who inhabit it if it's functional. Mm -hmm. If you have to use force, that's already an indication that it's become pathological because people aren't playing voluntarily. The antidote to chaos isn't order, and the antidote to order isn't chaos. The antidote to both is the it's, balancing right. of them, the active balancing of them. It's really important to understand that, that, the, that the antidote to chaos in the final analysis can't just be order right. because order itself can degenerate. I believe that the antidote is active engagement with the world, honest active engagement with the world, truth. And I think it's also truth motivated by love, which is a, a motif that runs through this second book in particular. And love is the desire for all things to flourish. You know, in, 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 in Christ says that you should love your enemies and you shouldn't wish your enemies harm in a, like, and by, by, and I, what I mean by that is that it would be better for everyone if they would conduct themselves so that they would flourish. You know, and, th and that doesn't mean you shouldn't defend yourself. It doesn't mean that, that soldiers aren't necessary or the police. It doesn't mean any of that. It's not a weak need statement. It mm -hmm. means that if, you're, if you have yourself pointed in the right direction, you don't wish an excess of harm on, on the world. You want it to flourish. That's love. So you aren't yourself that way. And I do believe that that requires a certain courage because the world is so flawed and so painful. There's so much suffering in it. It's very difficult to fall in love with it. You keep getting bounced off. You think this is so terrible that maybe it shouldn't even be, but that takes you down a very bad road. So it's love first and then truth serves that. And I do think that's the motif that runs through the Old and New Testaments, that the combination of those two things. Love is the the desire that being flourish. And I do believe that truth serves that. Well, I also think that people find meaning in that. And you can, everyone can answer this for themselves. It's like you have to watch and you have to see where it is that you find the meaning that sustains your life. And I would say it's certainly not been my experience that people find that in deceit or hatred. I mean, they may be tempted by that. They may have their reasons for it, but Everyone is ashamed of that and wishes it could be otherwise, even if they don't know what to do about that. The patriarchy is a symbol that refers to the domain of order. The domain of order is protective as well as oppressive. When it degenerates, it becomes oppressive. It degenerates when it is based on power rather than on competence, but it can be based on competence. Marxist and politically correct types insist that the patriarchy is all about power. Dr. Peterson says no, but when it degenerates, that is true. The domain of order will be upheld by those who inhabit it, if it is functional. If you have to use force, that indicates it has already become pathological. The antidote to chaos isn't order. And the antidote to order isn't chaos. The antidote to both is the act of balancing both of them. The antidote is honest, active engagement with the world, and truth motivated by love.
Love is the desire for all things to flourish. Christ said, love your enemies. Shouldn't wish anyone harm. It would be better for everyone if they would conduct themselves so they would flourish. It doesn't mean you shouldn't defend yourself. You don't wish an excess of harm on the world. You want it to flourish. That is love. You orient yourself that way. It requires courage. Because the world is so flawed, it's hard to fall in love with it. It is love first, and truth serves that. Love is the desire that beings flourish, and truth serves that. People find meaning in that. You have to watch. Where is it that you find the meaning that sustains your life? Not in hatred or deceit. It may be tempting, but everyone is ashamed of that. 